Hey guys, Dan Howman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today we got the man, the legend, Fastidious with us. Say hi to everyone. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Dan. Uh, we've been talking for a very long time, so it's so cool to finally you know, see your face, not just on a video, and get to talk to you in a collaboration. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, so awesome. So today's just going to be kind of a chill video. We're going to talk about kind of what we know is coming in the future and what each of us want to see added to the game in the future. All right, really quick sidebar. As you can hear, my mic sounds like absolute garbage. Uh, Fasty was too polite to tell me that my mic sounded bad, but apparently Discord uses some random mic. If it if you open a game, apparently it changes your default mic. I forgot about this, so it grabbed a random mic from my webcam, so I sound really far away, and it sounds like I un I'm underwater, so sorry about that. Uh, next time we do this, it'll be a little bit better. We had a couple of technical difficulties, but uh, enjoy the video anyways. Thanks, guys. So, okay. You want to start with uh, what's kind of your favorite thing that is being added soon that you want to see? That we already know about. My favorite thing in the game right now is Codex. Like, yeah. by far. I think it's such a cool way to keep things fresh. And I think they've been on top of it, like, from the get. Like, the fact that we kind of all hated sticks. I mean, you had a great stick strategy, actually. But, like, in, in spite of the fact that it was a mess, and then they fixed it within one update. Like, I haven't seen that happen in a gotcha game before. Yeah. So I love that. And then now I've been trying not to get spoilers, but obviously I've heard some things. I presume you've probably heard some things about the next two bosses. I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, no, I've seen a bunch of it on the Forerunner, and I've seen people do see screenshots and stuff, but I, I thought it was interesting because I saw all that, and then when they did it again, it was the same bosses again. So I, I was kind of expecting it to be, you know, maybe one or two different bosses. Yes. But it sounds like they're coming. They're coming, and what I love that they've been doing so far, and then I'll hand it right back over to you, is like, you were seeing heroes like I'll just say like without spoiling stuff like Avalon's about to become like triple S tier for a, for a codex stage you know and like I love that like keeping heroes fresh like Calypso isn't just like you need to have her A5 now Calypso is like a core member of my roster because of sticks right so I think it's yeah. really cool I like it I know I even skilled out my Calypso which I thought would <laughs> never happen <laughs> yeah I got a my A3 Calypso over the weekend uh and I was thrilled <laughs> yeah i know it's funny in the beginning yeah. everyone was like oh no calypso worst hero ever yeah. i actually used her in the beginning because she was my first marksman though i used her for a while oh, yeah yeah she's really good like in campaign because the battles are nice and long so she can get yeah. her stones up yeah yeah and guild boss and stuff mine's a4 so i just need one more copy oh you're so close don't use the yeah. source manner. don't go crazy <laughs> <laughs> there we go uh, the one thing while we're on the topic of IC, yeah. um, one thing I would love to see is just some sort of way to save your team or your gear sets or whatever. Because for IC yeah. uh, specifically, you need such specific gear on all the heroes like Calypso and all those. You need such high attack speed. And I find myself spending hours to get to the same set that I was using the month before. You know what I mean? Totally. Because yeah, I, I always change the sets up, right? Because I'll use some pieces from some sets. So it's like the gear swap ex doesn't exactly work the way I want it to. So I, It's nice that we have something, yeah. but I, I know you've certainly played Eternal Evolution too. And like, that's one thing mm -hmm. they did really right. Like I love for anyone that doesn't know, you could like pre-save sets and like label them. So you could literally call it Calypso set. Or, like I think that's exactly it. Yeah. And then you can have like a Calypso attack speed set, and then you can have a, a Calypso yeah. crit damage set, and you can save all those different sets. I think that would be huge. Uh, Dragonair has that, which is kind of the other gotcha game I'm playing right now, and theirs is really interesting the way they set that up. Um, but okay, what, what about you? What's your uh, what's your favorite new content? Um, oh no, you already did it. Sorry. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. What, I can give what you is mine? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I guess yours, I'll go now. Yours. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please. okay. Um, Guild boss, I'm really interested to see how they implement the new guild boss. Um, I think they mentioned, correct me if I'm wrong, that there's going to be three heads? Three arms. Three arms, okay. Yeah. So not like Raid Shadow Legends where it's the three heads. They're doing the three arms. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah I, only, I don't know. Have you heard about I've only heard about it in the Ma Bucket interview, which I really enjoyed. Um, but the, I thought the the art looks super cool. I did think the reason you said heads is probably the reason that I'm going to get I, I, what, the feeling it gave me. It's like, all right, so this is war Hydra, right? That's yeah. Kind of yeah. Felt. Um, 
but it does seem really cool. It, what's cool that I like about it, at least from when they displayed the artwork to Mom Bucket and the the dev was, the Snoopy dev was talking about it, um, is the arms cycle. So you're not doing all three at once. So it's kind of like you're having three phases within one battle. So it's, I think it will almost feel like you have to be really, there's, you're, I think a hero, like I'm thinking arrogance or something, not knowing anything about it, but I think you're going to need these like Jack of all trades heroes that are really going to shine there. Yeah. Um, that, that was going to be my question was, you know, yeah. if there's three heads, how do you, how does it do targeting and stuff like that? Yeah. But it sounds like it's one, it's like phases basically. Yeah, so phases, and it sounds like there's one that sounds like it's going to need dot damage. There was one that shields, like this, that, and the other. So I think you're going to need, there's going to, who knows, maybe they'll, they'll eternal evolution and introduce the perfect hero for it uh, every week or something. But um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's Yeah, hard. I don't know if you know, but I uh, I covered eternal evolution for a very long time. I, Ivy told me, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, uh, so when I, or Eternal Evolution was my actually, I don't know how many people know this, it was my main game for almost all of 2023 until I, I quit it for a watcher, but I just wasn't making content. But that's just like what I played. That was like my game. Uh, oh. and I just, yeah. And then, yeah, Ivy told me after and I looked it up and I was like, oh, so you're like the king of the game. So you, you know a lot of the, the good and bad things about the game. But I, I oh, do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was uh, one of the, probably the biggest content creator for, for quite some time. Uh, one of them, me, Ivy, Bailed was making a lot of really good content as well for the game um but yeah that game was great I, for a while and then it kind of just took a, a little bit of a, a turn yeah, for the I, for the worse i talk a lot of crap about the game but i loved the game and that's why i yeah. talk crap about it because i they just so quickly went into like all right let's make a problem sell the problem make a pro sell the solution make a problem sell the solution and just rinse repeat and i was like all right i quit yeah it's as boring, soon as the heroes came in and you had to spend yeah. so much money to get them i was like oh man no it was so fun yeah. at the beginning though I had so much fun. Well, that's kind of the know. shelf life for these games also. Yeah. It's like about a year, you know? A lot of these games, they come out, they go real hot and heavy, and then about a year later, they're kind of fizzling well, out. That's, I don't know if you meant to do that, sir, but what a great transition to the second thing we wanted to talk about, right? So is this going to be one year, or there's stuff that we want to see that might keep it going longer, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, you want to start, or you want me to start? I think I think you can start. Mine's okay. a little. Mine's a little, I'm a little salty about it something so maybe oh yeah yeah i'm sure i mean i i i can be that way as well uh the biggest thing for me honestly is some of the quality of life stuff i I think i already mentioned you know the the saved gear sets and stuff like that but i just noticed myself spending a lot of time doing that because that's kind of um you know when you're pushing any harder content you just have to min max your gear so much that it's just kind of so time intensive. And for me, you know, as we were just talking before this, um, you know, I have a kid and um, I work full time and, you know, spending a lot of time doing this and that. So uh, the biggest thing for me is just to add some stuff to save time. Because when I'm playing a game, I want to play a game. I don't want to spend, you know, two hours setting up a gear set and then have to do it again next month. Um, So quality of life is probably one of the biggest things for me um i'll do one more uh, another nice. thing is is the ancient summons and how they have um kind of they have the one banner you actually just talked about it in the last video i watched of you how they you know the ancient heroes that share both banners are a lower rate but it seems weird that they are in the banner at all you know even like raid shadow legends you know you got void heroes and they you cannot get them from the regular banners so it's just kind of weird that you get the overlap the reason why i'm especially salty about that one is because when i spent like i think i spent like almost two grand on ancients and i got four cerberuses Oh my! And God. I was just like, I already had Cerberus is from the other banner, and I was like, what a waste of my life! That's you also know? just knowing the rate. Like, so for people that know, it's one point one percent chance to get Cerberus. That's crazy. I'm sorry about. Or in that. one weekend. I would be salty too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's like they're it. So the rates are. It's like four. It's four point four four, but just call it four percent for everyone that isn't Ardia and isn't on the normal banners. Then it's two percent for Ardia, and then one percent for Cerberus. Constance, Valeria, and Valkyra, right? But it's like that's them admitting that, like, yeah, people aren't going to enjoy pulling these guys on on the ancient exclusive banner. So why not just like what you're saying? Why not just get rid of it? Like clearly they know. Exactly. You know what's exactly. another great example? So the, I did like the study, and then eventually we got the rates. But of the Vanquisher card, you know, when you bought beat all the 18s and you got the guaranteed legendary, yeah, the rates on that card were incredible. Like so. Huh. The chances to get Silas and Virna and Comet, all these guys were the high. They were in the highest bucket probability. 
Uh, the lowest was Azor, Shamir, Ezrin, Sadie, a lot of the people people don't love, right? So they knew who people didn't want to get. Why not just make him not in the card, you know? It's interesting that they tweaked the rates for each of they the, did. you know, you you would assume it'd be the regular banner rates for each one of those. The, and, and, and I always other... laugh when I... I always okay. laugh when I see your videos because the the heroes that are really low are usually the ones I have, and the ones that are really high rates are the ones I don't have, which is really okay. funny. So every time I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, because I don't you... have uh, like Venema, for example, and she's okay. like the highest ranked lord, right? Yeah, she's in that like top common lord bucket. I mean, still a lord, but uh, uh, yeah, no, it's super interesting, and I mean. Also saying like your account is you've got some very interesting luck and lack thereof in all different corners of it, right? We were just talking yeah. yesterday about your your ancients. Uh, I don't know if you want to relive that. That could be a complaint. That could be something we want to say. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like <laughs> they need a pity. I feel like they need a pity for ancient drops because totally. I farmed all weekend and did not get a single ancient. And it was funny because I was kind of just watching uh, Discord general chat, right? And there was like ten or twenty people who have been like, I've been farming. Like some one guy was at like fifteen or two thousand and runs and hadn't gotten ancient yet either yeah, so that's... i i feel like you need like a pity or something for those it would yeah it's hard a lot of people i probably were talking to you a lot of people talked to me and saying it was rigged they had the frenzy and they turned the rates off or this that and the other but like i had a lot of people coming to me and they're like yeah i got 17 ancients and 50,000 i'm like okay uh but yeah i think like every make it every 300 runs or 400 runs i don't think people would complain just do it something so people like i had a drought run so that was like 1800 something yeah thank god it only happened once but that yeah so that's like that sounds like that's what happened to you this weekend i mean that hurts man. Oh, yeah it's so streaky i mean you'll go like 1500 without getting one and then you'll do 500 and you'll get like three or four you totally. know yeah i got it's crazy. Yeah. i went like a thousand once none and then i did 100 and got three and i was like all right yeah so yeah that's how it goes i guess that's how it goes um yeah for sure all right what's what about you myself? uh okay so this is something i'm probably gonna have a whole separate video about but like it's been so long since they even entertained the idea of adding an epic to the game and it's just driving me insane not just as a player of the game not just as someone that loves the game not just as someone that like is making money off the game i want the game to be healthy but also it's getting boring like we need new heroes if they if they're uninspired take a you know a normal take a calypso make an epic version if they want if that's how they want to do it but like the game's getting so 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 top heavy i'll pull up this summoning portal for us like I don't know. Do you, it drives me nuts. Like, and I don't know if you know about Draga and Philippa, but they were like accidentally patched into the game, and they just removed them without telling anyone. But no one summoned them in months. I've asked all around. I've checked the reviews. They're all in like thirty or forty reviews. They accidentally released them. They shouldn't have. And then they just didn't tell us. They just removed them from the game. So those were the only new epics we've gotten since Aatrox and uh, what's his face, uh, Vladov. And that I don't know. It drives me crazy. Does it? Did, what do you think about that? Did I? I swear. Do I have them? I swear you I got them. Have them. Server. Maybe I'm mistaken, but did, I thought I got Philippa recently. Recently, I'd be very interested. I've t I've no, I didn't. I must find on the test server. Sometimes I, I randomly pull summons on the test server just for yeah. fun. Just for giggles. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like uh, a couple people have them. Like I, I can dig them up if I go to the galley. But first off, just look. I mean, I, I, we don't have to count the rows and the cons, but you can just see visually. I mean, it's almost the same number as legendaries as epics. The game should be like a pyramid. You know, if they want to yeah, the uncommons and, and rares, whatever, but we need to have a strong foundation. Yeah, for sure. I did notice that there's two new rares on the test server. Did you notice that? They've been there since since I've had test server, at least. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. They've yeah. been there a long time. I don't know when they're going to get added. Um, but so, also, with adding heroes, I mean, most of these guys, what have they added since Global Launch? Maybe five heroes, like actual new heroes. The rest just came from Forerunner server, right? That's a good point. Yeah, Helga we're going to get. She's new. Lust is new. Uh, yeah, it's a handful. It's not much. Yeah, it was new. it's not much. It's not much, yeah. And then even they like Vladov and Aatrox, they were already on Forerunner. So that's actually a really good point. Uh, they did show know, a lot of... Most of the content, you know, is just coming from Forerunner also, like I see. True. I guess Valderon's new. But yeah, it's not It's not much. Uh, and we're basically caught up with Forerunner. They only... It's like, I count as like 10 heroes left or something. I don't know what they're doing. And I'll just tell you about... I forget their names, but those two rares and then also Draga and Philippa, even like more boring... Is, look at that. She has 11 reviews. She has 11. That means like 11 people... So let's say 100 people got her ever and then they removed her from the game. 11 reviews. I think uh, I think most of those are probably from the test server. Oh, do they uh, carry when, over? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whenever... So when a hero first comes out on the test server, you can rank it and you'll see it on the global. 
oh wow, then maybe all I don't know. Yeah, maybe they removed them. I I don't know. It's just bizarre to me. And I will say, Philippa and Drago were part of fusions, and then those two rares that I don't remember the names of, they were part of fusions. So literally, like yeah. they, they haven't sat down and made any new. At least since we started playing on global, not counting people that have come from foreigner, they haven't sat down and made any new epics for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would love some new epics on my free to play account. You know, on my main account, I probably would never use them, but on my free to play, I don't have a lot of Lego skill up, so I want to yeah. leverage those epics. So I would epics, love a couple of new epics ones. Epics are like, and there's some good epics in this game. Like, epics are the lifeblood of any gacha game, I think, because like they're more attainable, they're easier to build, you can come up with more clever strategies. You know, like, look at Gluttony's doing so many cool things in Nightmare Void Rift that people are figuring out now. Like, we need more little things like that. I don't know. It has me worried. That's like the number one thing that has me legitimately worried. Because again, not to go back to Eternal Evolution, but they never added a, a normal hero again, right? It was only triple S's. At least when I could. Yeah. That yeah. In that game, the 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 non triple S's really weren't that viable, like compared to this game, for sure. Not viable. But then also they reached a point where they just stopped. I think the last one, at least whenever I quit, was like Old John. <laughs> it's like a deep cut there. But that was like the last yeah. one. And I think they just there never was another one. I was like, all right. There's like the gorilla guy and Old John and it was over. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, on my free-to-play account, I, I didn't get Idril forever. Like I recently got Idril and it just like boosted my account so hard in, in GR3. It's really rough to do. I had no hat set. I had no Idril. I had basically no Alora, no one on the right side. So I had no way to kill that right side ad. Like it was basically physically impossible until I got Idril and then it was easy. I actually want, I mean, I guess you would need Vargas or something, right? But then it's like, then you need an ancient exclusive. That'd be a nice challenge. Like you can't use any invisible heroes. You can't use Idril. Can you, I don't know. You build a You gotta use Maul and Theowin probably. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to like slow them down like crazy and then nuke them down. Yeah. But yeah. So I'd say all in all, like uh, I was pretty critical of the game like the past couple days with some videos on my channel. But I do love the game. I think you do too. But the the, the, yeah. the hero pool thing, I it drives me bananas. Like I just don't know yeah. what they're doing, and I it makes me wonder if if they see how long their 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 roadmap is. You know, it makes me worried. Like, are they thinking like month to month, not year to year? And then it's like, are we wasting our time? Yeah, that's why I brought up the thing about, you know, how many heroes have they actually added and how many content have they actually added? Most of it was just in the Forerunner, basically beta server. And then it kind of carried over. So I hope they're not just coasting, you know? I will say, to give them their flowers on one thing, when it comes to content, like Codex and Voidrift, I thought have been awesome. Like adding the couple of new phases to Voidrift, that was all new. And then the codex mm -hmm. stuff is like completely new. So I really like that. Um, and I could honestly think the game could last content wise for a very long time if they just like every couple months there's a new codex boss or one more phase that they cycle in for water. Those are my favorite pieces of content. Uh, yeah. But, and yeah. after uh, playing Pale World so much, they mentioned the base and like building up your base and customizing your base. And I was like, oh, this sounds kind of cool. You know, obviously it's a gotcha game. So that's like just side kind of fun content, but mm -hmm. just like little things like that that are just fun to keep you in the game and stuff and keep you, you know, busy are just nice additions, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think the more customizability in any game, the more the players will enjoy it, right? Yeah, for sure. Customization, that's a better word. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's perfect. All right. I, th I think that I think that's I don't want to criticize the game too much. I really do like it. It's just I and I want more transparency. I guess it'd be weird if I didn't say that. Oh yeah. That's another thing too with me. I'd love to see the rates. I'd love to see, you know, more information on the tooltips. Um, you know, like, like the rage regen stuff, right? You have to yeah. test it, otherwise you don't even know. Like it just says you get rage when you attack and when you get hit. It's like, okay, how much? You know, what percentage? You know, yeah. rage regen percent. How does that just add one for one a percentage? You know, to both yeah. of those, and you got to test everything, right? The formula is insane. Like uh, this is, is a video we are gonna make on my channel. I'll just send it to you after. We can. I'd happily make the video with you if you want. Uh, otherwise, it's all gonna be public next week anyway. But like, uh, they have like this variable called hedging, and it's basically that's what allows it to be like kind of that logarithmic curve not to be too boring but where you have those diminishing returns and every hero um, has like a different value for that and then also what you're talking about with like the rage regen attack and attack it's just it's not that consistent and it's not normal like it's just it's just a little weird and it's like at the very least tell us i don't know still fun yeah 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 for sure i i one thing eternal evolution they did list the rate of every single hero the exact rate very very transparent about rates in that game yeah 
I am a million percent of the opinion, and I feel like I've talked to enough people. I think you're going to agree with me. I don't think anything would change if they told us, except that people would be happy and disappointed less. Uh, yeah, I mean, even if they show that some heroes are rarer than others, that's totally fine. That's pretty normal, you know. You have totally better normal. heroes, are a little bit more rare. Yeah. Just tell them. <laughs> on my on my video with the the one I did with Silas and Boreas and uh, oh my god. Silas, Bryce, and Comet, people are like, oh, you're just being entitled. You want to get every hero. I was like, I don't care about that. I just want to know. I want people to know. That's it. I'm not saying we should get them, but people should know if they have a worse chance. That's all I'm saying. Otherwise, people are just going to get unlucky, but not realize that it's not actually unlucky. They, you know, It, was, it wasn't even, and then they're going to get frustrated, and then they quit. And I just think if people knew, then then I think it would actually be – people be more excited when they get Boreas or Hotsit, right, as opposed to yeah. upset when they don't. Man, I am sad after I watch your video because I don't know if you know, but I did – either 1,400 or 1,600 summons to get Boreas. And I did not get Boreas or Orem. I didn't get no, one of those. Did you get Cetrum? I got two Cetrum. And oh. then I think I got more, I think I got one more Cerberus and a bunch of other random heroes. So you, a got bunch a, of, you got A10 Cerberus. <laughs> oh my God, it's insane. I, I Who did I get? The, I think Azor. I think I've got like 10 or 12 Azors. So I've sold a lot of them. But that's the thing, right? It's like... RNG is gonna RNG. That's what I always say. Cause like I pulled the, not that level, but for me, I pulled 800 summons, which is I'd never done more than 400. And I was just going for A1 Cetrum. I pulled three Boreas, which I don't feel bad about now, but it wasn't, right. was, you know, I, I still probably would trade at least two of them away, I think, for that Cetrum I was looking for. So yeah, I didn't get one on my free to play either. I did not get uh, Boreas on my free to play. Yeah. And I think I did, I think I did about 200, 250 on my free to play account. Yeah. I really wanted him. Yeah, he's nuts. <laughs> yeah, especially in arena. It's really hard to beat AoE arena without him. Or any of the arenas, honestly. You can use him in all of them. <laughs> the, yeah, the fact that you can live just with the delay now, that you can literally use him, it's it's something. It's yeah, something. yeah. All right, is that, is that pretty much it for the for the video, for the day? What do you think? Anything else? Yeah, Final we comment? Had, we, had, we had some fun. I think on my channel, we'll talk about some support units. Everyone's favorite, right? All right. Sounds good. Wait, yeah. All right. I think the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, coming on the channel. Have a great day, everyone. Hit that like and that subscribe button. Have a great day. See you, guys. See ya. All right. Cool. Perfect. Uh, let me just quickly.